Hey, I'm Bill Marion, and in this video, I'm going to share 10 facts about Thanksgiving that are probably true. These people that decorate before Thanksgiving, they annoy me. So, oops, you didn't see that. So just like you learned back in grade school, Thanksgiving started with the Pilgrims. But you know, it's unlikely that the Pilgrims actually had turkey on Thanksgiving. It's more likely that they had things like venison, goose, seal. No, not, not that seal, that seal. <coughs> Which I can't tell you when the last time I've had some good seal. That's so gross. And they probably had some lobster too, but probably not any turkey, which is kind of weird. But well, now Thanksgiving wasn't an official American holiday until Sarah Joseph Hale, you know, the author of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yes, that, Sarah Joseph Hale. She petitioned Abraham Lincoln again and again and again, like she wouldn't leave him alone, and to make Thanksgiving like an official recognized American holiday. And then finally, after the Battle of Gettysburg during the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln in 1863 said, sure, let's do this thing. And so now we have Thanksgiving. Thank you, Sarah Joseph Hale. You probably grew up a lot like I did where you got up in the morning on Thanksgiving Day and you watched the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade while moms and grandmas were cooking in the kitchen and it's just a cozy wonderful feeling all over inside. But you know those early days of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade they didn't have big fancy floats but they did have animals from the Central Park Zoo which would have been kind of okay. And by the way, I've been to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade before in New York, and I got a video about that, or actually a few videos. You wanna check them out, because I'm gonna be honest with you, I would much rather watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade from home than in New York. No offense to anybody from New York, love you, mean it, but I'm just saying, it, it, it's not as good as it is from home. That's just my opinion. I just want you to know that I'm trying to get as many shots as I can of this beautiful creek here in November, just outside of West Virginia, across the line into Virginia. And you know, I'm doing this for you because I'm, I'm trying not to fall into this creek. It's, it's kind of cold out here, I'm, I'm just saying. Presidents have been pardoning turkeys for a long time, but for some reason when Herbert Walker Bush did it in 1989, it became official. And then after that, presidents started doing it all the time, pardoning turkeys like every Thanksgiving, every single Thanksgiving, every president since Herbert Walker Bush has been pardoning turkeys. For some reason, Harry Truman didn't get credit for being one of the first presidents, if not the first president to pardon a turkey, but a lot of people say he was the first to do it. It just wasn't official. Go figure, I don't know what the difference is between an officially pardoned turkey and an unofficially pardoned turkey without making a political joke right here, and I'm just not doing it, not today, nope. Now, our American forefather, Benjamin Franklin, he wanted the turkey to be the national bird, and I've never understood that. So the interesting fact here is that it's not actually a fact. Ben Franklin never actually said that turkeys should be our national bird. But I mean, really, Ben, I'm sure there are reasons why the turkey and you thought it was just such a great bird, but come on, it's a turkey. Really? Stay in your lane, Ben. Stay in your lane. The Detroit Lions have always played football on Thanksgiving Day since 1934 at least, except for World War II. They took a few years off to fight the fascists. What a great way to spend Thanksgiving when one of your favorite teams always loses. Ten percent of the people who celebrate Thanksgiving will actually celebrate Thanksgiving by eating out. Ten percent. That may sound crazy to you, but it's a thing. Ten percent. We've done it. It doesn't really work for us, but we've done it. 65% of the people eating Thanksgiving dinner this year won't even eat turkey. So much for it being called Turkey Day. Actually, 65% of the people will eat ham or something else, which is kind of weird. But then again, most statistics are made up on the spot.
Here's another kind of crazy fact. Most people, including myself, uh, like the leftovers more than they do the actual dinner. Leftovers on Thanksgiving are kind of why you have Thanksgiving dinner. That and to be with your family and stuff. You're probably nothing like me and this would never happen to you, but don't forget to be grateful this Thanksgiving season. I mean, that's what it's all about. God is amazing and we all have something to be grateful for. I'm gonna be grateful if I can make it up this hill without busting my backside because like, I, yeah. I also read where Jingle Bells isn't actually a Christmas song, that originally it was a Thanksgiving song. Okay. But do you know what the name of the horse is in the song Jingle Bells? It's Bob. No, really, it's Bob.